Hi everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. It's been a while since I made a review video. I apologize for the sudden absence. I slowed down on the clothing pickups as well as reviews. I'm moving on to a different phase of my life and chasing new goals. It is not clothing related though. Uh, but thank you so much for the kind messages and always checking in on me. Anyways, today I will be reviewing two pair of pants from the brand Craftwork. Here is the BK flat cargo pants in beige and the exact same pair of pants but in black. Firstly, a big thank you to Gigi, the owner of Craftwork, for reaching out to me and sending me these two pieces. I appreciate it a lot. He launched his brand Ain't Easy in 2016, focusing on salvage denim as well as basic staples. Eventually, together with his girlfriend, he launched Craftwork, which is kind of like a sub-line, designing clothes between high-end fashion as well as streetwear. And that is his goal for the brand, to have a balance hovering between high-end luxury clothing as well as streetwear. I was having a chat with him, very nice guy. He told me that he's inspired by music, anime, buildings, as well as uh, traditional patterns in his country. The brand itself is based in Jakarta, Indonesia. They make 70% of their clothing in larger factories and 30% in their in-house studios focusing on pattern work. Now, the name of these pants are called the BK Flat Cargo Pants. BK, which stands for Banyak Kantong in Bahasa Indonesia, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. It translates to a lot of pockets, as you can see. Now, these pair of pants are individually hand-painted, so every single one looks different. It is by a local artist called Kade21. Very interesting and cool concept. And I can't wait to show you more details to the pair of pants to help you out with sizing and show you how I would style them. Here is a first look at the pants. Starting off, this is the packaging that came with the pants. And just a fun fact, 1096 stands for Gigi's birthday. The design on both pair of pants are the same, apart from the colour, so I'll quickly run through. The pants is constructed with a heavyweight cotton twill material. It is individually hand-painted with this stained black effect. At the top, you have belt loops, external metal fasteners with the branding. There are a total of 12 pockets, two regular side pockets, two back pockets, and eight 3D pockets located on the front, each with different sizes. They all have YKK zippers. Here is the leg opening. Here are the inner tags. Moving on to the back view, you have nicely sized back pockets with pocket flaps. And at the back, you have waist fasteners. Now moving on to the black pair, it has the same design with the exact same pocket placement. It is also individually hand painted. It is not as heavy and it is slightly thinner compared to the beige pair, which makes it flexible, slightly more comfortable when wearing. Here is the back view. Now moving on to sizing, here's how the pair of pants fit on me. I'm 1.82 meters, about 71 kilograms. I'm normally a true to size waist 30. These pair of pants are in a size 30. They fit slightly loose around my waist. I have to use the fasteners to tighten them. I reckon it fits a waist 32 perfect. So overall recommendations, I recommend either going through the size and tightening the waist or using a belt, or if you prefer a more snug fit, go one size down. They have the exact measurements posted on their website, so do check it out before buying. And you can also tell them your preferred inseam length. Overall, I love the silhouette a lot. It has a very nice structure with this gradual flat and baggy fit. The length is very nice. It is not too long to the point where I'm stepping on the pants, but it is just nice till it reaches the ground.
Now to sum up my thoughts on the pants, the quality on both pair of pants are decent. You have nice YKK zippers as well as metal button hardware. Just to point out, the black pair has a thinner cotton twill compared to the beige pair. So the beige pair will have a bit more structure and it would feel a bit more heavier. The black pair would feel a bit more flexible and flowy and it is not as warm when I'm wearing it. But personally, in terms of the weight of the material, I would prefer the beige pair. And another small thing to point out, around the waist fastener at the back, because the material on the black pair is a bit more thin and less structured, you have the waist belt just dangling, compared to the white pair which stays nicely in place. For the black pair, I wish that the waist adjusters was maybe slightly shorter or there would be buttons to just fasten it and hold it in place instead of just dangling around. But again, very small issue and it doesn't affect the wearability of the pants. Next up, the functionality of the pants. You have a lot of pockets for storage. You do not have to bring a bag when you go out. And lastly, moving on to my favorite part of the pants, which is the fit. It has a very nice baggy flat fit, which is something very difficult to achieve. And because of the painting as well as the weight of the fabric, it has a very nice structure. It doesn't drape down and lose its silhouette when you're wearing it. And on their website, you can DM them and state your preferred inseam measurements so you can get that perfect length and maintain that very nice baggy flat fit. I can't wait for the bottoms to have the heel biting effect to get distress as they drag on the ground. Overall, very sick looking pair of pants. Big thank you to Gigi for sending them to me once again. I hope this video has given you the information you need on these pair of Kraftwerk BK flat cargo pants. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.